When you go to Jerusalem, after a day, it seems like you could write a novel. After a week, a very engrossing article. After a month, you no longer know what to say. drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him, who went and entered a village of the Samaritans to make preparations for him. But the people did not receive him, because his face was set to Jerusalem. Luke 9 verses 51 through 53. Jerusalem, a heavenly vision, encompasses nearly 30 years of artistic inspiration concerning the ancient city itself. From the gardens, to the towering domes, to the heavenly host, Adani painted all of Jerusalem. Adani lived in Israel for six years. From the beginning, she kept returning to Jerusalem. She had fled with her husband and young daughter, communist Romania. Though agnostic at the time, Jerusalem pulled her back again and again. Adani, speaking of the other cities in Israel, said in 1985, even though they might be 5,000 years old, archaeological sites are not aesthetically appealing. Therefore, most of my artistic and spiritual interest revolved around the fascinating aspects of Jerusalem. After moving to the United States, Adani found a new reason to artistically revisit Jerusalem. In 1987, she became a Christian. This new faith helped her to see in Jerusalem not only a beautiful place of history, but a sign of what is to come, a heavenly vision. saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Revelation 21 verses 1 through 4.
Jerusalem is not simply a dead place for old books and tours, but a living city. The city Jesus turned to. The city where Jesus was killed, rose again. That same city still lives. In the last 2,000 years, the city has been ruled by pagan Rome, Persia, Constantinople, the Caliphs, Crusaders, the Turks, the British, the Jordanians, and now the State of Israel. The city has been built up and torn down and built up again. Despite the tragedies that have taken place there, Jerusalem is a city of life which only time can reveal.